Calling all would-be philanthropists, Giving Tuesday starts in a little less than one hour, and more than 100 local nonprofits are competing to see who can raise the most money. New tonight, WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart shows us what's at stake for these organizations. The top fundraising teams will win thousands of dollars. We're talking cash and prizes, and all of that will go to their cause. Three, two, one. With a champagne toast, the biggest effort to raise money for Tri-State Charities is underway. The challenge is 10 days. Cincinnati Gives Challenge brings together over 100 nonprofits to see who can raise the most cash. We need to support the nonprofit community. One of those groups is Do It For Jack, last year's winner. Our son Jack, uh, he had moved to Baltimore for his job. Uh, two months later, he died from fentanyl poisoning. Their tragedy inspired their mission to educate the community on the dangers of fentanyl. We're just trying to save lives. The goal is to create a longer documentary and develop a toolkit so that younger professionals can go out and spread the message. Giving Voice Foundation is also trying to get its name out there. So Giving Voice Foundation is a grassroots local organization that works to bring um, direct programming to folks living with dementia and their families. It's first year taking part in the challenge, one they hope won't disappoint. All of our local programming is free. Um, and so we really depend on donations from the community, from our big fundraising events to continue to support the work. Cincinnati Gives runs through December 7th. You can take a look at the participating charities and make your donation at CincinnatiGives.org. Keep in mind, WCPO 9 will be hosting our annual Toy Team 9 drive this Saturday. We'll be at nine different Walgreens locations collecting toy donations for various charities. In Silverton, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.